it's now 7.05. Uh, I'm, as always, quite, quite slow. The idea was uh, most of came at 6.20 to my place, something like that, but I still had to do packing and preparation. Um, now we're picking up Sally and uh, ta ta Tabitha. Tabitha, Tabitha. Morning. Hey. Hello. Famous, yeah. yeah. It's a famous school, man. Is it? Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. In what way is it famous? Kagumu. Yeah. Performance wise. It's, it's very top yeah, school. It's a top school. Mm. Yeah, for me, if I would have come to a school like this, my friend. <laughs> wow. Kagumu, man. Yeah. Did you also know about Kagumu High School? Or? Yeah. Yeah, very famous. Yeah. <laughs> It's a modeling that you're going to show. Okay, hello, Masa. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. How is it going with the presentation? Uh, I'm just signing up. At least I've managed to download the video so I can actually play it offline. Okay, great. great. Yeah, so it's just a matter of just polishing up. I'm waiting for the students that is going to do the presentation. Yeah, well. Why do you think the principal laughed when I asked about trying the school food? Ah, I also laughed as well. I was part of the laughing team. Yeah. <laughs> but I think if he laughed, it must be something interesting. Maybe like Ugali and, and, and Skuma. I know you can imagine cooking for like thousands of students or other hundreds of students. Yes. The food is not the same like the ones we ate yesterday Quality, at, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, at, at, at Java. <laughs> oh, no, but I want to try school food. So, my name is Moses Sahure. Uh, I'm alumni of this prestigious institution. I cleared back in uh, 2010. Then I don't think I <laughs> So without further ado, I would love to introduce uh, our founder, our CEO, Mr. Sengu. Let's tell you a bit of a story. I'm going to tell you about when I grew up. When I was eight years old, I came to my teacher and I said, hey teacher, this other class, they have a better schedule than we have. Uh, they have more fun. And the teacher said, hey Simon, the world is unfair. Things are not going to be the way you want them to be all the time. Now, you know that. You know that. Better than anyone else. I am actually, you, you look at me and I look different, right? I'm, I'm actually coming from Sweden. Sweden is up in the north of Europe. And everyone there, they, uh, they look very white, okay? I'm not, I'm not white. I'm actually, eh? But, but, I grew up there, and I'm half Chinese, okay? But as a kid, it was a bit tough, because uh, the other kids would uh, look at me and they would say, Ching Chong Chinese, okay? It's fine, it's okay now, it's okay now. But back then I was young and I was different, right? I felt left out. Um, the world is not fair, okay? I didn't choose that. I played football as a kid as well. I'm sure many of you guys also played football. But in Sweden, a lot of the other parents, they would go with their kids to the football matches, to the training, they would buy them the like, nice shoes and everything. Uh, but not for me. Uh, I always had to go myself. I biked to training. I had always these old shoes. What do we do when the world is not fair? Do we just like throw up our hands and say, oh, this is life, this is it? Or do we complain day in and day out? Or do we just make excuses when things don't go the way we want them to go? No, I think we don't do that. We stand up, we stand straight, and face this unfair world with courage, diligence, and determination. Because I believe that we can do a lot with what we have been given. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be very, very honest with you. It's not as simple as work hard and then get a degree and then life is set. No. To succeed, 
you have to work hard to put yourself in a position that you, so that you can take opportunities. So you can grasp opportunities when you get them. Okay, so now I'm setting up the Cardano wallets set up for them. So this is the completely new computer. Uh, it's been uh, never been used. And then now all we've done is uh, opened up Edge and I just installed Yoroi. And so what's going what's gonna to happen next is that uh, um, the students are going to come one by one, create a wallet, open up the wallet, and then write down the password and recovery phrase, keep it secret for themselves, and then we'll save their address so we can send funds to them. Um, and that's about it, basically, at least in terms of Cardano wallet creation. Here, you create the first student to create wallet. <laughs> and, then, and then we just remove the wallet. And then boom, we're done, okay. Could you tell me a little bit about the background of the other students? So our school is actually very diverse mm -hmm. uh, because we have uh, students ranging from, I don't know if it's appropriate to say, but super rich to others who might need a helping hand and others are event sponsored students. So you'll find that we have students from very different locations which uh, to some point determine their background. So we have some students who come from the marginalized areas in northern Kenya, to others from the coast, to others from Nairobi. We also have some students who even lack parents. Some are sponsored by well-wishers, um, groups, banks like Equity Bank Foundation. So we are very diverse in terms of background. So the school offers the computer studies subject. And um, the problem with the school per se is that the computers are not enough to accommodate the number of students who would be interested in doing their computer studies. Uh, for one, myself, in Form 1, I wanted to do computer studies, but as a result of their limited resources, they had to do a selection, a random selection. So many of us who are, who are actually very interested in computer studies had to look for other options. If somebody is interested in coding, many of us tend to look at campus level because of the time and also because of financial constraints, because it's difficult to learn coding through free, free courses in the internet. They are mainly shoddy and you cannot get the one-on-one -on -one interaction. So it becomes more of a problem to you because you're even confused than when you started. So yeah, I believe that's what kept me from uh, reaching out to coding more. How are you doing? Good evening. How are you, what's your name? Uh, my name is Alton Karani Solomon. Uh, my life, can I, can I talk about my life? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, I, I've had struggles in studies, but not so much, because what, what, I, what, I, what I, I see in me is that I need to work extra hard to get what I want, to get the good grades, and sometimes I see it somehow unfair. What do you mean but that you need to work so hard? Let's say, let's say, uh, some you you see some people, like they don't they don't study that hard, but they get the good grades. But for somebody like me, I I have to I have to work really really hard to get those good grades that I want. Uh, yes. Okay. So uh, does that mean uh, if you get a scholarship, uh, it will actually change your life? Yes. Um, it's a skill. I want to develop a skill. Okay. Uh, I have a few. So if I were to say maybe game developing, I've loved that since I was young. And also um, yeah, game and web website and app developing. And also uh, creating like organizations that would drive all the, 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 the big trademarks that we know today, like Google, like create a sort of rival for them. Yeah, that has been my dream. I've had the dream since I was, let's say, 
10 years old when I started learning about computers. The limit has just been the, the teacher. If I were to get a place to learn and teaching, I think I would be set.